So, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to go into petroleum. Now, you will ask me, what is so great about petroleum? My dear friends, our whole life is is totally totally command, commanded by petrol and petroleum products. Everything. It is a liquid gold. The crude being the basic form where we find the petroleum product, crude being the basic basic form. From if you go into the fractional distillation, the topmost fractional distillation is the LPG, liquid petroleum gas. Below that is the aviation fuel. Then the regular petrol, what we use for the cars, then the kerosene, then the diesel, and then the lubricants, and then below the crude, the waste material of crude is wax, rubber, then uh, asphalt, what we use for the roads, dumber, that, then grease. Plastic, you name the thing and it is made of petroleum. So petroleum is, is a part and parcel of our life. How can we underestimate petroleum? And when we talk about petroleum, we have to, rem we have to remember the pathogenesis of petroleum. That is the proving how petroleum, petroleum is affecting our life. Most of you all must have been once in a lifetime at least to the Himalayas or to the Western countries, particularly the colder, cold Western countries that is Switzerland and so on. Germany, Switzerland, Austria, England, France, Belgium, Holland, Denmark, Poland, Russia and so forth. So all these countries or whenever we go to a cold country or cold place of a cold climate, one of the, when the travel agents, they give you a list of things, necessary things to carry. And one of them is petroleum jelly. They ask you to carry petroleum jelly. Even when we go to, when I, I've been twice to the Himalayan high, uh, Himalayan trekking. So every time, the trekking group leader had given me a list of things to carry and one of them most important was petroleum jelly. Now why petroleum jelly? Now here lies the proving of petroleum. Whenever we go to a cold climate, a place which is full of a lot of cold, especially the dry cold, the first thing what is affected is the skin. Now, what happens to the skin? The skin becomes dry. When the skin becomes dry, naturally, the solution for a dry skin is always petroleum jelly. Because if the skin becomes dry, because of dryness, they can be cracking. And because of cracking, they can be itching. Naturally, it will start scratching. Because if the skin becomes dry, Scratching is obvious and this will lead to the problems of dry skin. Now here lies, as I told you, the provings of petroleum. Now petroleum jelly, it might be in the form of Vaseline, <clears throat> it might be in the form of uh, oh, crack cream. There's so many creams what come in the market, crack cream and all that. All this thing the base, the basic or the basic product or the main product in this creams is petroleum jelly. Huh, they might have added some medicinal values to it, but petroleum jelly is the basic product. Now this basic product avoids the skin from getting cracked. So it is sort of a protection or it is a protective shield to the skin whenever we go to a cold place. So when we go to a cold place, it might be the Himalayas 
or it might be during winter now here we again this cracking of skin is normally seen in winter so it might be crack palms and soles where the cracks can be so deep they can be bleeding bleeding with scratching bleeding with itching the palms and soles where the we call it uh, in marathi they call it jarwat now jarwat is one of the names in marathi for cracked soles and cracked palms where uh, there is the elasticity of the uh, muscles of the palms if the palms become leathery and when you stretch the palms the palms crack there is a cracking of the palms so you cannot stretch the palms same with the soles when you try to walk on a surface the sole if it is stretched there will be cracking in the soles and because of the cracking in the sole <coughs> there will be bleeding from the soles and of course there is scratching in the soles and palms so here also the external application is petroleum jelly now petroleum jelly as i told you it can, can come in different forms it can be uh, in the form of vaseline also this is all petroleum jelly why because it is a product of petrol it is a product of petroleum petroleum that is crude oil crude oil is the base and from crude oil you have different products right from plastic to rubber so here and of course ammunition lpg gas and all that so here <coughs> the, this petroleum jelly is a protective shield to the skin now all these symptoms you have to convert them into homeopathy how do you convert these symptoms into homeopathy now this is this it is a very specific answer what is come into your mind aapke dil mein wahi answer aaya hai jo main bol raha hu now what is this answer which has come into your mind the answer is petroleum is aggravated during winter it is aggravated during winter so that is basic or dry cold air dry cold air because winter is having dry cold air so here petroleum is aggravated during winter second petroleum will moisturize the skin if you take petroleum it will help to moisturize the skin it will help to reduce the dryness of the skin if the dryness of the skin is reduced naturally there won't be any cracks so petroleum is a remedy for dryness of the skin third what we see petroleum why when it scratches when the petroleum skin when the patient scratches petroleum skin you will find there is a lot of rawness so this rawness or this fluid like watery discharge like lymph which it comes out to the skin it will moisturize the skin so because it moisturizes the skin naturally that skin remains moist and he feels better but it is a temporary feeling it is a temporary feeling because of the lymph which comes out of the skin after scratching it is watery discharge of the skin so when it comes out of the skin the skin is temporarily moisturized and the skin feels better but is that is that a solution to petroleum i mean by applying uh, petroleum gel no you your skin tendency the tendency of the skin has to be changed so whenever a person says that during winter the skin goes dry we can think of one of the remedies can be petroleum with scratching and watery discharge so scratching till it's raw now scratching till it bleeds is arsenic scratching till it's raw is petroleum and gelsenium so no not not graphite is i beg your pardon graphite is now graphite is is having thick discharge honey like discharge it is a sticky discharge in graphite is whereas petroleum is having watery discharge watery and uh or transparent discharge in petroleum graphite is yellowish discharge slightly thick from uh, skin both have got dryness of the skin both have got cracking 
but petroleum the modality is very strong where they say petroleum is worse during winter or dry cold air so here the modality itself speaks volumes of what petroleum where the skin becomes dry and it feels i mean uh, the uh, especially during winter especially during winter we have petroleum which is almost a handy remedy where during our winter is approaching and i don't think in case you feel like going off for a holiday to some cold place especially in himalayas or somewhere do carry petroleum in potentized form as i told you in potentized form not as a petroleum jelly because if you carry it in potentized form your skin tendency to become dry won't be there the skin will remain moist and they won't be scratching and itching so dry i mean cracks bleeding cracks on the palms and soles with scratching then uh, dryness of the skin and one more uh, petroleum uh, where they can be also dryness of the orifices like nostrils uh, lips the ear the eyes so this orifices which are open which are exposed to cold air so that's why petroleum is one of the remedies for chill cleans chill cleans where there is intense scratching and they can be bleeding also after if the uh, part is exposed to cold air and in in allopathic medicine or the modern medicine the treatment for chill cleans is to bring him down to a lower height bring him down to from a higher height you have to bring him down to a lower height so one of the remedies is petroleum another is agaricus where we have chill blains especially during in on the heights or the high heights of the mountains where uh, the chill blains is nothing but a skin uh, problem arising from dryness of the skin now petroleum one more remedy one more uh, symptom which i come across petroleum but i never used it in my practice is diarrhea only in the day time it is very similar to the natrum group so natrum group is also having diarrhea only in the day time whereas merk group is having diarrhea especially at the night time the natrum group is diarrhea in the day time and petroleum also says diarrhea in the day time so petroleum though it is a small remedy but again a very useful remedy especially during winter and skin forming the biggest part of your body the biggest organ of your body is skin don't you agree so because skin is occupying it is bigger than the liver which is the largest organ in the body and here we have uh, the petroleum which plays a major role in the biggest part of your body and i am opening up so in case you have some questions you can always ask me it i hope i am quite clear when i talk when i talk to petroleum any questions please no questions sir i always get confused between graphitis and petroleum while prescribing the graphite is basically a hot patient petroleum is a chill patient okay very simple very simple and graphite yes. the skin uh, um, the gra discharge of graphite is slightly sticky it is like honey mm -hmm. and petroleum is live watery and transparent graphite is yellowish right okay and sir most important thing in graphite is which i have noted is the constipation of graphite is Mm-hmm. But constipation yes. with hard, knotty stools, they are covered with mucus, and the acidity worse when hungry. Better by eating. Mm-hmm. Okay. As a graphite patient, will always put on weight. It is the remedy for duodenal ulcer. Okay. So simple, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I remember when you had taken graphite. Even that time, you had mentioned this point. 
that's right i did i did mention actually i have missed your graphitis lecture <laughs> <laughs> anyway i hope the petroleum is clear yes sir yes yeah, sir clear yes sir yes sir you are going to have it in your medical chest whenever you go out for outing yes sir especially the cold cold climate petroleum aapke sath hona hi hona hai hmm good yes, sir thank you shall i close the thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you sir hello yes yeah, sir thank you sir yes sir thank you uh, there is a confusion what do you want to say you were saying something no sir no shall i close the lecture okay sir thank you thank you sir thank you i hope it's clear yes, yes sir. sir yes